Hello everyone, Tour de Force here. Uh, today I got something different for you all. I am going to be showing you an actual video this time, not just an audio visualizer. And this is going to be on my first Ableton project. This is like the first one. This is from, I believe, 2018. Uh, when I was first starting with Ableton and I had no clue what I was doing at all. Hey, future Tour de Force here. No, I do not know why I named the project Help Me and do not ask. But here is the first version. Yeah, just try to enjoy it. Now, as you can hear, I'm going for a sort of like weird, at least this is what I think I was going for. I was going for some weird scientist alien type of theme with this melody. It's a really strange melody. Uh, I played it on my mini, I think it's a mini Moog or something. It's a very strange melody. I don't know. I didn't know anything about music theory at this time. So... I feel like it's just notes that I decided to choose, but they sound very scientist and alien-like to me. We also have two different bass lines going on at once. We have the keyboard bass and then this, uh, this uh, acoustic bass. The keyboard bass is sort of doubling, from what I'm hearing, it's sort of doubling the melody. At this time, I was very inspired by gorillas specifically. So maybe that's where this double bass situation came in, because there's a double bass song in the gorillas first album, which is my favorite one. Now that we've got that out of the way, here is the solo, which the solo is very amateurish to say the least. It doesn't follow anything in here. You'll, you'll hear it. It's also weirdly panned in different directions, which I don't understand why I did that either. I guess it's just to give more fullness, but you can hear there's a lot of dissonance. There's not, I didn't really pick the correct notes to say the least. Especially this one coming up. Ugh. Not good. And then this weird part at the end. Like what, what, I don't know what, what I was going for with that. This solo, I'm not too sure if I should keep it or if I should remaster it or remove it entirely, but we'll figure it out as I as I go along. So one thing for sure, we have a list. We, we're going to run a list here. We are going to keep the melody. We're going to try to make the second bass line work. And then we're going to see if the solo can work or not. That's, that's going to be our list. We got to make sure we get the melodies all down including these two, these two specifically, they're the big ones, the big culprit melody that is uh, defining what the music sounds like currently. Another big no-no I did in the original was have the master be at full volume, uh, six decibels increased. You're supposed to keep it at zero just to give you, yourself some headroom. So yeah, let's just get started and I'll see you in the next project. All right, everyone, we're in the project. Here I have the melody that that harp was playing. I have it set to a piano sound right now, just so you can kind of hear what it sounds like without everything else going on in the mix. So the first thing I noticed right away is that I did not quantize anything. You guys know, quantizing is one of the most important things when it comes to making something that sounds, something that sounds cohesive. Uh, with Ableton, it's just simple. Just use the, the quantize feature that already comes with it. Uh, make sure there's no like mistakes, because sometimes it does 
set notes to the wrong thing. For instance, this chord over here, that chord is now, uh, it's kind of a weird like sort of thing that was already going on, but now it's uh, just one solid note, which doesn't sound quite right. That sounds slightly better. So now that we got all the notes uh, positioned and in the correct order, we start looking for the tonality that we want to go for. So the tonality was this like weird aliens, like I said, this alien scientist sort of feel, and we want to we want to replicate that. We don't want to get rid of that. This could be perhaps used for the background to give more ambience to the sound. Now we just need a sort of a melody sound that can really drive home the sound of this melody. All right, everyone, I just uh, got done painting the melody here in the piano roll. Let's see how it sounds, just making sure that I recreated it correctly. So yeah, I think I got the melody down to how I want it to. Now we just gotta worry about the tones and the tonality. Actually, scratch that. I'm going to start with the drums first, and there's a reason why. I feel like drums add a lot of texture and a lot of sound to a full mix, so I'd rather just get those out of the way first. Here I have the, uh, I have the, uh, let me just fix this. I have the exact drums that were used in the original right here. And I'm gonna try to uh, just sort of replace things so I don't have to like redo all the MIDI information. It's all here, all the million configurations are already like done. So if I just replace the sounds that are already in the kit, I am hoping that I can just kind of get away with it. Let's just try to find some better sounds. everyone I have everything in the synths department almost completed I am using vital it's sort of like a free version of serum I really like it a lot uh, I'm using vital to make these synth sounds here's the settings I'm using currently maybe some glide oh that's nice I got this one I have a sort of uh, oscillator changing the way the squish flange sounds with a format filter on it. Got some effects on it. And I'm also actually using the melody from the first one. Because it actually sounds pretty good with everything. Of course, the melody on the original is a little off, but it sounds fine within the mix. I have everything pretty much done. I did a lot off camera and I'm going to explain it uh, as quickly as I can really. Uh, first of all, <laughs> that solo is not happening. It is terrible to work with and it won't happen. Instead, I have the guitars that come in during the solo part. Instead of all the dissonance, it's more elegant. One thing you guys might notice is that I have the original bass line. A little bit more overdriven with bias effects. It's my uh, usual guitar amp VST, or guitar amp VST that I use. Uh, it fits decently within the mix. It's not the best, but I wanted to try to get it to work, so that's what I did. 
Only thing that really needs to be done is some compression work and some EQ work and some mastering. That's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me sort of vaguely remaster this this, uh, this song. This the very first project I ever made in Ableton. Now uh, a little bit more modern sounding. At least a little bit more uh, quality to my ears. And if you guys want to see it before and after, here it is. This compared to uh, the original. So I got, I'll let you guys listen to the before and after. You guys can uh, you guys can make your own opinions.